Hi there, everyone. I'm meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. It was cooler out there today, but still, I would call it comfortable. At least we had lots of sunshine. As we go into Easter Sunday, we're going to add a few more clouds to the forecast, but things are going to warm up. We're going to be running anywhere from about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than where we were today. Now, here's a look at our future track forecast for the rest of this evening and going through the overnight hours. We'll have mainly clear skies. So we'll start off with a decent amount of sunshine Easter morning, but then as you can see, more clouds will fill in. Now, it is going to stay dry on Sunday, so for those outdoor Easter egg hunts, you will be fine. But yes, at times we will see more clouds than sunshine. Now the clouds kind of hang around as we go from Sunday night into Monday morning. Basically, a cold front is going to creep across Hampton Road. It's going to move very, very slowly here. So there's that frontal boundary going into Monday, but it is going to keep most of the moisture north of us. Now, if you're up towards the Middle Peninsula, Northern Neck, and Eastern Shore, those are the places that may catch a spot shower Monday morning. But again, most of us stay perfectly dry. We'll just have to deal with more clouds. Clouds than sun. 72 degrees in Edenton tomorrow. Look for high of 71 down towards Hatteras. Across the south side, 72 in Chesapeake, 70 in Norfolk, 70 degrees in Franklin. Across the peninsula, peaks of sunshine along with that warm southwest breeze. Very light though. 69 degrees in Pocosin, 70 in Newport News, 73 degrees in Williamsburg. Points north of that and along the eastern shore. 68 in Chincoteague, 70 in Gloucester. Notice a little bit cooler at Cape Charles. That's because that southwest breeze, that's an onshore breeze and it keeps things cooler down there. We'll drop to 57 behind that front on Monday, then back up to 71 degrees Tuesday. Here comes another cold front that'll skirt by on Wednesday. That one is going to bring us some widespread rain. So temperatures that day may initially start in the upper 60s and gradually fall through the afternoon. It really has a heavy dependency on the timing of that front. So we may play with the temperatures that day a little bit between now and then. But overall, temperatures are going to be up and down over the next seven days.